A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The seventy-two disciples returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, O Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Turning to the disciples in private, He said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, Many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord Demons are subject to us. Jesus often expresses disappointment at his disciples' lack of understanding for their puerile faith. Today, however, Jesus spends time listening to his 72 disciples as they narrate to him their glowing experiences as to how the Spirit has moved them to work miracles and wonders among people. Even the evil spirits have been subject to them. Jesus shares the great joy of his disciples, and this leads Jesus to share his happiness with his Abba as Jesus offers a prayer of thanksgiving to His heavenly Father. We know our human limitations and sins, so we can grow afraid of displeasing God. We think we must do great things in order to please God. Jesus' appreciation of the simple faith of the 72 disciples demonstrates how Jesus can be pleased with our simple acts of obedient faith. God does not expect us to do the impossible. God wants us to remain faithful so God's Spirit can work in us and through us.